You guys, I would love to show you a clear table, but we're getting there. Hey y'all, happy Saturday morning. I am off today. Work tomorrow, cause I'm trying to not use as much leave when I have my surgery, which is Wednesday. I have to be there at 6.30, <coughs> so. I'm nervous about it, and um, but I'm having, let's see, a piece of turkey sausage, a fried egg, and then my friend was in London, and she brought back crumpets. I love crumpets, so um, yeah, I have fallen down a carbohydrate, like rabbit hole, black hole. Mm -hmm. So my last crumpet, I mean, I'm gonna, um, yeah start weaning off carbohydrates because they do not make me feel good it makes my skin look even worse so anyway sorry i haven't posted in a while i'm in a funk good morning beautifuls but i am 100 percent committed clear my kitchen so I took, I had this round thing with all these yummy art stuff on it. It's downstairs. And I have like, <clears throat> I had bought five bags of stuff down and three of them are put away. <clears throat> so the goal is I'm going to go down, put the rest away. I'm going to hop in the shower, get dressed. And then um, I've got to corral my papers to a, like a loose sort so I can bring all that down. And that's going to my library. So you have to have a plan. So my goal is, I'm gonna bring up what I wanna work on. So let's say right now I wanna do some fluid acrylic, right? I wanna, um, I just found online and I wanna do a um, swatching of them. And there's a couple projects I wanted to work on. So what I wanna do is gather the things I wanna work on, bring them up, use them, move on to the next project, put them down, get some more. And then I do have a space. <clears throat> where I can work downstairs. Well, a few spaces. And then the lighting that I changed my lighting is makes all the difference. But y'all look at this thing. This was solid. It would not come out. So I cut it and I took it out and I cut it in half and then um, I have it in water. So I, yeah, I'm going to get this green. It's light green. So I've already painted some pages. Yeah, but here's, I got my command center for my eye drops and all that. I start, I have to look if it's two days or three days before. So that got organized that today. Y'all got to start my taxes, which are not, not complicated. But so today my goal is to get my turbo tax, make sure I can get on and uh, get all my paperwork done and at least do my federal taxes. So this bag of yumminess are papers <coughs> that I've just done because some of the collages want you to war use warm or cool. So I have, let me take out, I have them sort of, not complete rainbow, but so I have my yellows going into dark yellow and oranges, um, greens, blues and then I have pulled some out already that are in boxes you know and some are just not solid some are like this in the back of something so yeah so this now I know I can grab it there is about three so there's one teacher that if her class is going to end because it was free and I really want to finish up her stuff, so I'm going to do that. And then there's a bunch of collages I want to do. Um, anyway, so yeah, this isn't the best thing. Everything kind of falls down, but that's okay. I know where it is, right? Let me pick that up. I got to change what's on there, the name. And then this which will probably stay upstairs, is stuff <clears throat> for class. But also different papers 
for me to grab to do uh, my, my uh, I guess it should be. Yeah, hold on. To do my drawings on, right? So I just have different papers. Some are plain, some have stuff on it. So I can just grab one and do one of my drawings. And I'm gonna do a little video just on that. I'm up to 50, because it's a 100 day project. I think I'm pretty close to where they're at. I have to figure that out today. Sometimes I love this paper. It's like typing paper, onion paper. <clears throat> yeah. Claire's having breakfast. So I gotta relabel everything so I know. But here's a trumpet. Um, Wharton, no, War, War Burton's. Trumpet. So, y'all, yum. My egg, the yolk is perfect, guys. But my goal is to keep protein in my body. Keep protein shake in my body. And I've been working on my hydration for my, my thing. See, like, here's some inspiration from the card. That's cool. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Here's one I did. I'm gonna, it's from uh, Georgia and Martha kids books. I'm gonna color them in with crayons, I've decided. It's called Rise and Shine. That was the book. Their portions are wonky, but you know what? I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and here's the goodness. So that, see, I got, wasn't sure about my numbers, y'all. I'm just proud of myself with all the commotion going on. So let's see. Oh, this is a constant battle of the accountant. I think, okay, so we've got 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49. So 50, 51. <clears throat> so now none of my pencils are here. It's okay, I just told myself, you know what? It might be a little frustrating in the beginning and then we'll get it down pat. So y'all, I'm at 51. So I might stop and take a break and do a drawing. <clears throat> do a little whatever this is. I'm determined to do 100. Here's my labels. I can relabel stuff. But yeah, so that's what's going on. I have a little list. Um, my, I have a kitchen drawer that, when you pull it out, looks like it's coming apart. So I need to take everything out and hammer it and get that good. I need to get my mail, start my taxes. I have my nightstand still to put together. Try to hook up my DVD player, and Clara's got a nail appointment when she's napping. She'll know it, but her nails are something. So, as a matter of fact, I found it was like a drawing book of cats, <clears throat> and it's not all oh, the ones are lovely and posed, and like, oh, are I a nice cat? And then for the Siamese, they have it going right. <laughs> I kid you not. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that one. But I'm thinking that, and talking to y'all helps me figure out my brain. Um, like I might use this, isn't this cool? It's a little um, Betsy Johnson, but now I don't like the zips on top where people can get into it. Only buy backpacks that do zip here because it's against your back. It's a safety feature, but I've had this thing for 20 years. I'm not kidding you, but look at that. And the reason I probably never use it is because it's like canvas. And I thought I would have to treat it and on and on it goes. But I thought, <laughs> you know, now not all these journals, let me show you my journals. So this is like a little one, you know, I was doing some color marking in it, just sort of plain. This one is for classes that I'm taking right now. So, um, I had done a paint, a little bit of some stuff on it, just a couple pages and these I'll just cover up, you know, just mark making. So these are for the current classes I'm taking. I just found this one in the garage 
And um, kind of a weird thing. All right. It's got black, but it also has, um, I, I took out some of the pages because I did, I thought I painted a few, hold on. This is that paint that I took out of the tube. So I have that one. I'm not sure I need that one. Now this is one of my one major ones I'm working in, the Dean and Wakely. Love them. It gets a little warped, but you know what? It's just a, it's a fun thing, right? So this one in here, I need, I would like to finish. Um, here I was playing. <coughs> just plain love it you guys I know if you don't know if you don't like it if you don't get it yeah, I can get it my son that's done I'm gonna put a quote cut out words here now my mermaid I need to finish I'm not happy with her hair I feel like it's not flowy enough but also this and this I'm gonna do some kind of either gesso or um some kind of textured thing right and I might do one more here. So anyway, so that's this playbook. You know, just lots of been just doing lots of that. I wanted a jelly print on. So just, you know, so that one is a workhorse. Like this one could probably stay down. What did I do here? I have some tape right here. Oh, okay. So this one is just doodling and mark making. So I don't necessarily have to have this, like it's almost filled up, you guys. I just added some, um, there was a blank spot, so I just added some paint. But yeah, so this just has, and I, I have some flower ideas that I wanna just mark in there, and then I can grab this as a reference sometimes when I, for looking at flowers. I, so anytime I see a flower in a kid's book or something, then I'm gonna, um, you know, just fill the rest up with flowers. Or I don't know, maybe I should have a flower plant one, like trees. So that one could stay downstairs and I can grab it when I, I want to work in it. Um, so this is just a play one that I want to eventually turn into um, journal spreads. But really, it's about playing. Did I tell you that, y'all? But just, you know, different, playing different paints. Some doodling. That do, I was doing brush strokes um, for watercolor. Just lots of colors laid down. The doodling, I tell you, <clears throat> love this for some reason. And um, I was playing with uh, this thing that can write a little bit. So yeah, so this is the one that really, you know, I can turn them into spreads, not turn them into spreads, just a random. Because at the end of the day, let's say I want to do something with this and I don't like some of it, I can... Um, just put some gesso, right? That's the beauty. And most of the classes I'm taking, they start with you doing scribbling. You know, I guess to loosen you up, right? That was a tea bag I had this week. Again, here's this color I forced out of the tube. <clears throat> no, I might, yeah, well, this is emerald. I don't remember now, y'all, it's a thing. Lots of paint, close the book and see what comes up. I gotta try my gooseneck. I love this color. It's a beautiful color. So, so this is a play one. So that one I would probably keep in here. Just to grab, like I would keep this one in here. And then when I'm not using them, they can go in the bag. And that's easy enough to bring up and down. Again, it's like the other one, but bigger. So... So this is one I want to use in classes too. Where's my other good one? But like I was trying to match that green a little bit. Yep, just general yumminess. Just trying to get some pages so they're not <clears throat> white. Clean brushes. That's this paint I forced out of the tube. So yeah, so that one's gonna go in here. So that's my thinking right now. Hold on. Something fell on the floor, if you can believe it or not. I don't know what I did with my big one. Huh. 
And then this one is um, watercolor one for class. <clears throat> so I haven't done a lot of the watercolor. There's one class so far and I didn't, um, I was waiting for a fan brush so I can go back now like that. I am most at peace. And then this one was um, Peaceful Moments. It was Nicole Warrington and you just did kind of blobs and wrote different things. In the moment means to me different things, you know, so it was a really basic kind of thing, but she's teaching brush strokes and stuff. So I want to go back and redo her class. The good news is <clears throat> these classes that the ones I'm paying for, for Wanderlust will actually be available um, forever, as long as the world's ro rotating, which that's always suspect. And then I found, it's funny, um, <clears throat> one of the teachers, this is a real problem when you see a teacher. Sorry, I hope Claire's not there. Okay, I still don't know where my big one is, but anyway. See, now I will. It would be on my table here, table here, and my bag. So one of the teachers that I need to take the class today, kind of, it, it's fun. It's like, it's just going to be a couple hours of fun. Had a, a different shaped notebook from Dina Wakely. It's a little bit more square than this one. But I thought, and then Dina Wakely came up showing how to use this particular one because it has like bur, a burlap in it, right? It had burlap, it has canvas, and I, I went and took all the burlap out. I didn't like it. I really cut some down. I, don't, I really don't like it. She showed ways to use it. I put it in my fabric thing. The paper is unbelievably lovely, right? It is, like I might do my fluid acrylics on this because they're gonna look great. So this is a new one that I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna start with the ladies class I wanna take. Um, she's French, it's like Lally, A-L-A-Y-M-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. And she has a new free workshop coming up about flowers, but the time is you have to be right on it because she's not gonna, she wants you to, you know, she's giving you a taste so you can join her class. So this is kind of an interesting one. And then it has some canvas in here too. I took a little bit of the canvas out. Um, Maybe, maybe I don't think I took that much canvas out. Maybe I did. Because you know, they'll just go in my pile. I don't know. I did. I took a lot of the canvas out. Okay. Anyway, when um, I did that, a couple pages. That's fine. I can cut them up. One of the classes I'm taking, I need to do like marks on. So I could do this paper. Yeah. Anyway, Ranger. Jean and Wakely, Diane, Reveille. <clears throat> okay, so that's gonna go in here. So we're gonna work on this one today. Heavy as crap, but yes. So part of the thing is when I get my cataract surgery and I'm getting nervous, I am, I'm gonna be so happy, I'm thrilled and so blessed that I can do it, but I'm nervous, so. So I'm the first person, which is awesome, since you cannot eat. Sorry, I gotta. My ADHD makes me, I've been seeing a lot of that, that people who move a lot and fidget, <clears throat> that's a sign of ADHD. But um, yeah, so my friend's gonna spend the night and take me. And then um, the next day I took off, well actually I'm working Sunday. So I have that day off. <clears throat> and um, my brother's supposed to drive me to the like follow-up appointment, but he has a big business meeting that came up. Now, if we'd done it the last two times, he would have been fine. You know how this is. Y'all pray for my brother. He really hurt his back and he's miserable <clears throat> and it's scary. It's scary. Because really, truly in our family, I mean, I'm the one, you know, had the brain surgery, had the weight loss surgery, but really in my family, we're pretty healthy. You know, we don't have to go to, we haven't had to go to the hospital a lot. Um or had any kind of chronic disease other than mine being, you know, dealing with obesity. So yeah, he's not a good patient, but he's in misery. So he's been going to the chiropractor every day. I told him, you know, it's like people are flying all over the world for this meeting and just getting there is gonna take him an hour in the car, which is gonna wreck his back. And I said, you know, you need a shot and you need some tramadol cause tramadol will just take the edge off. So. Anyway, he's gonna do what he's gonna do. But that was my advice. So yeah, I'm really working on 
just my advice or what I would think and then let it go because it's really up to that person to figure out. It's a very freeing thing. Very freeing. But yeah, so that's what's been going on in my world. And then let's see, I found this in the garage. I just did a quick little through the garage and let some stuff go, but I like this one. It's just like the size of it. Now it's, um, I mean, these are probably like as a glue book more than anything. Oh, now we'll take a lot out. But y'all, this is this fluorescent pink, hot pink. It's called Opera Rose. And um, a lot of the color samples is um, everything, right? So that one, that can stay downstairs because I'm not ready to be starting that. And then um, I have a couple other journals that I need to, so it's just a good notebook kind of thing. Separate from all that. Yeah, and I have a couple other bigger journals that are good for like wiping your paintbrush on that kind of extra paint. So I think I'll keep one in my bag and then um, I'll keep one downstairs. So yeah, but I think those are enough to start with. And um, yeah, so that way, um, I, I don't know how the person is going to feel if they care if I'm at the table making art or, you know, I'd like to do a puzzle. So, but this way, you know, I can come up if I want the sunlight. And um, the good news is they're going into summer. It's much cooler in this, the basement. But it's a hot mess and it makes me, I don't know, it makes me feel something. I feel, I try to feel grateful for all the abundance, but I also feel a little bit, I don't know. I feel as, yeah. So I had, I had to remove something to get something and it's chaos. So that will take me, but I can't, once I have my eye surgery, I think I've been trying to tell you, I can't lift and move heavy things. So I will be on restriction for quite a while. And then boom, turn around May 8th, I will have my second one. So I'm trying to think of that. Now, Tuesday morning, I'm taking a workshop at home and then going to take the rest of the day off and again, do a triage of stuff. Cause then Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be taking it easy, completely easy. I don't know, like if you just rest your eye, I guess I won't be doing art or anything. I've downloaded some good books to listen to that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so that's my thinking. So I got lots of stuff. I wrote down the things I really want to accomplish today. You know, I'd love to spend a half hour in the garage. It's a little chilly though. I might try later. I'm going to go for a walk. I have to for my mental health. I just, I have to. I did a little bit yesterday and it helped. As everyone tells me, my, my friend Mary has been telling me my, for a long time, walk, 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 right? And something came on Instagram. You feel bad, walk. You're tired, walk. You're sick, walk, 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 walk. So that's what we're going to do. And I want to go a little bit on a nature hunt. Um, one of the classes I'm going to take, she uses different things to make marks, right? And one of them are like little tree twigs and stuff like that, or, you know, stamp with leaves, things like that. So I'm going to go and do my walk and then kind of meander around. There's a little creek thing um, and see what's, what's going on there. And of course, laundry. Laundry. I have two loads to fold and put away. And then I have sweaters or drying. I probably have, I don't know, one more load down there. And then I gotta get the rest of my sweaters. I, and then I'm gonna wash my washer. I wanna tidy up that area. So, and I'm also taking all my, I have all those gloves and hats. I have them all on a pile and I found something I'm gonna put them in. And so in my studio in the closet where all this fabric stuff is, I know that's what I wanna do. I wanna drag all that fabric up to my room uh, because that's heavy. But I need that closet space. And uh, what I was thinking is I wanna get shelving, but I'm not gonna do that anytime soon. What I am gonna do is I have tons of, I've made a couple videos for y'all and then Something went wrong, I wasn't filming or something. So I don't know if I posted this actual thing, but I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but. So I have a bunch of good containers, right? Different sizes. So my thinking is all the things that are in my studio now, like I have amazing office supplies and I have other papers I have not sorted. I wanna put them, you know, loosely organize them 
So, and put them in there. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll go through it all and really fine comb tooth it. But I need the space now to put the stuff I really want to use, right? And I could take a box and find hundreds of things in there I want to use. So that's not the point for me. I've decided it's not the point. And then I have a um, bookshelf kind of filled with lots of books to pull things out of. So what I'm going to do some point when we get in the garage is once I get my book, the bookcase I have against the wall clean and do whatever the mice had left over. And from what I can tell, I don't think they're bad because I took pictures of certain places where they were before and there's been no activity. Now I moved a couple of books out and there was stuff behind it, but that I'm pretty sure was from before because I did, I couldn't get to everything. So that's one of my main goals there in the garage. What I want to do today is just straighten right what's in front of my car. I was looking for something and so do that and then get the majority, well, a lot of these books I just need to let go. And um, I, I, I could make some money, y'all. I have some phenomenal stuff. But um, so I want to do that. And then that space right there is awesome. It's like metal, like chef kind of shelving, you know, in a kitchen. So it's really strong. And then I'm just going to put, you know, like the colored papers or like I have open containers now, which I'll show you when I start doing my project of warms. I had never thought of warm and cool and neutral. And then I have one that's mixed, a whole bunch of colors. So I can grab that. Let's say I want to work in the cool colors. Grab that, grab this, start playing with collage. So I miss doing collage. I think too, what I might do is do a couple little collages for my, um, the, my drawings and then um you know I just want to I want to have a little bag of stuff peek in there grab something maybe even just grab out like some inspiration and draw that but you know I don't think um who knows I don't think I'll ever put the attention I need to to be a realistic like artist or drawler and you know that's okay I don't it's not that's not my thing anyway but I'm starting to like to love my little things because there's the, like Beverly said, you're that, it, you just, I can tell, I would tell right away you did that. It's just got your personality, your sense of humor in it, your, your vision. And that's a great compliment, especially for someone who's always trying to copy and didn't think I was okay. I need to be like somebody else. Right. And I've told this story before, but in yoga, we had the best yoga teacher, Ava. Oh my gosh. And <clears throat> I need, I would, you know, I'm asking the universe. I, I need a good like yoga person or good, you know, when I do have a roommate and things settle down, I'm going to look for, um, I would like to find an ADHD coach actually, if there's such a thing and work for a little bit with someone like that. Cause even like, and I want a trainer, I will go back to the gym and get a trainer. Cause I, you just do better. I do. You just do better when somebody you're holding, I don't know why you can't hold yourself accountable to yourself. But like when you have a trainer, I would, I, yeah, there were times I'd not feel good and wouldn't go, but, um, overall I went. So that's important to me because like my brother's back, you know what, there's exercises you can do to strengthen everything. And that's my goal. I feel weak and I don't like that feeling. So that's the plan. But, um, but yeah, honestly, right now I would hire a, um, an organizer to come help me. One, I'm really good at organizing, but especially my studio and I'm, you know, I've been great. Y'all, I, I must've let five, 4,000 things. My friends like, are you itemizing? I said, I would have to kill myself first because with ADHD, can you imagine? I can't even imagine sitting down, right? And I keep thinking, okay, next year I'll keep track. Well, I could watch my videos, but gee, I just, mm. so yeah, I might maybe, not get a hundred dollars or something. I don't know. You got to weigh this stuff up. I'm going to just tell you this real quick y'all at work. The solar eclipse is coming, right? And you need glasses y'all. I, I, I'm not going to look directly at the sun. I, you know, I know that you're probably fine, but you don't know what these glasses are. You really don't. But anyway, that's me. I like to be out in the dark and just sort of part of the, the little program. But anyway, somebody had announced that the libraries had them and we didn't. Right. We had, we are all the libraries are having these really cool programs about the sun and solar eclipses and that kind of stuff. And there's a limited amount to hand out to the kids and what parent is with them in the program. Ours, ours is coming up, but 
the Washington Post, the school system, radio, all went on and said, public libraries have them. We don't, we didn't. And most libraries have already had their programs and handed out anything that's left over. We never were met, like we have COVID tests, right? And that we always do, unless we, you know, we get a certain, we can give a certain amount of day. Once it's gone, it's gone, but it's calmed down, right? So we normally, we have, I actually, yeah, we have COVID tests. So that's the kind of thing, you know, people are thinking like, oh, they're just gonna come and we're gonna have tons of them. And by the way, yesterday they would have been all gone anyway if we did have them, right? And um, Warby Parker, because we, you know, somebody did some research, was giving them out for free. They're not even answering their phone now because of course they're out of them. Amazon, I think somebody told me yesterday, it was coming Sunday, and I probably think they are gonna try, I really honor that, because they don't want them all sent back. But it's probably too late now. I don't know. But you can get in. I bet there's a warehouse near me. Like, I need an Apple charger. And <clears throat> the mall's near me at work. But I paid $6.99 extra to get them. Because the thing is, time matters. So, I have to go to the mall. I have to go. And I don't like malls. I don't. I need to go to Nordstrom's, get some bra wash. But I'm going to call them and make sure they have it. And exactly where do I need to go. But go in there and then I want to, I need an iPad. Yeah, I thought you just don't, it's six ninety nine dollars for your time and effort, right? And plus I've been really stressed and feeling just discombobulated. So try to add something like that to my day is not easy. So I ordered it because my time matters. People are going insane over these things because they're free and then getting hostile because we don't have them. I mean, it's, and we were never supposed to have them, right? So don't believe everything you read or hear on the radio. But they had a little thing on our, anyway, on the website now, it's really big, we don't have them. Anyway, our program's today, <clears throat> and you know, we had to come up with a plan because people are coming from everywhere. Even people just trying to get in the program, it's limited, right? Everything has limits to it. But my thinking is people were wild. I mean, I can't tell you the number of phone calls we got. And most people were fine. I heard somebody, he's like, um, well, I'm a physicist, okay. Yeah, my buddies and I thought it would be fun, my coworkers. I'm like, I said, your company didn't provide them for you? You're like a physicist. And I, and I said, well, we might have a few extra, but do you really wanna come fight the traffic, fight the crowd? And there's gonna be people there early and you're not gonna, you're probably not gonna, I'm, I gotta say right now, I guarantee you won't get one. Right? I mean, it's wild. I'm like, you're a physicist. I don't know if he thought that meant I would hand him over. I don't know, but anyway, I laughed. I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, Come in line. I would be there at 10. So. And thank you, Jesus. I am not working. But my point was, we just need to have a plan. So there's a lot of people, extra people there, and there's a plan. So that's good. But anyway, my whole thing about this, I don't know, is it a sense of entitlement or people? I mean, I read that Home Depot staples were selling them for $2.99 a pair. That's not a big deal, right? And let's say you need four. Is your time not as valuable? Like how, I mean, really, what's your time worth? You could just figure out your paycheck and what do you get an hour? Is that worth two hours maybe standing to maybe get them, maybe not? I don't know. For some people it is, I guess. But it was just really, nerve. it just, and I'm pretty good at handling that, you know, because really, I'm not gonna tell, don't come. You're a grown up, you don't have a kid, you're not getting in the program. Aren't you, why are you gonna wait? But the, even by Thursday, Friday, the free ones were gone. Like poor Warby Parker. Because we were telling everyone, you know, you want to say, hey, but Warby Parker's giving them out, right? You don't want to. But the people that came in the library, I'm like, but we have COVID tests. Would you like COVID tests? So that was great. So people were thrilled with the COVID tests, which cost a lot more than $2.99. So I don't know if your library has COVID tests. Um, you know, hopefully you will never need it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. I've been wearing my mask at work. I'm going to go ahead and on um, uh, probably Monday and Tuesday, I'll test myself just to make sure. But I'll be laying there with a mask on anyway, right? I don't know. Y'all, I don't know. But anyway, I'm so glad my surgery is number one because you can't eat or drink. I can take a little water with one of my pills and then I'm going to have a little anti uh, Ativan, which is Xanax. No, is it Xanax? The generic? Anyway, Ativan is my favorite because uh, it just takes the edge off, right? takes the edge off. So, and I got permission to do that. And then Thursday, so my brother can't take me to the second, my, you have to go and have your eye checked. And then I have to go to the eye place and have this lens moved, taken out, right? And plus I need these things tightened. 
So I think maybe what I might do is if I'm having to dry myself is Thursday, Tuesday afternoon, because my surgery is Wednesday, I'll go and have them take out the lens, right? And I want to get a little gift card for my friend Robin. Let me write this down. Yeah. And then, you know, I have another pair that I can wear that has the lens in it. My second pair. And then, um, and those I want to donate because I won't be able to use them, right? Let me put this on here. Tuesday. Um, lens removal and gift card. My girl Robin likes a little bit of wine. So I'm going to go to the um, liquor store and get a gift certificate. For my brother, I had bought this big, huge thing of pistachios, so. But I think my friend Beverly said she drove herself and the lady, cause I, they won't give you an exact time. Cause I'm like, well, people need to take me. I need to know a time, it's weird. It's earlier, like 8.30 or something. But um, Beverly said she drove herself. And the, the last time I was at the eye place, the person's like, people do drive themselves here for it. I mean, I like to follow the letter of the law if I can, but I'm gonna go ahead and, I, I mean, most of my friends live way south and Sue and Mark would probably take me or Sue would, but say, you know, she's not a morning person, y'all. She's not, I'm gonna say that right now. It's interesting how people are morning people or not. What are you? I'm a morning person. But um, yeah, cause she, you know, she probably had to be here at eight, I don't know. And it could be traffic. So I, I'm just gonna drive myself. It's not, I mean, it's like a 20 minute drive. It's not that bad and it's straight shooting, right? Down the highway and then get off. But then, so I'll come home and you know, I'm gonna take it easy. Friday I'm off y'all. But while I can move around and do stuff, the bend in, I drop things 29 times a day, 29. My tooth, I, I don't know if it's impatience of my brain is ahead and my body's not caught up with it, but part of it is my hands, you know, working in libraries and books, you know, I got what we call library hands, which I need to, I need to work on y'all. So that's the thinking, but I need, I have a Angela's thing where you pick things up, but I put, anyway, but it's not gonna pick up books. So I'm gonna have to be, what happens is because of my ADHD, when you're like, okay, so I will walk around and pick up books that people looked at and didn't want, right? And then we scan them in, we keep track of that. But you need to pile them in a certain way so they don't fall off. Actually, I could go like this instead of like that, maybe. And then when we're checking in books and stuff like that, um, you know, it's the same thing. We pile them up. Well, actually I do like that, but then I get books for displays and things, but that's where I usually pile and drop stuff because I'm in my head trying to pull. But what I do is, so when you do a book display, it's so much fun. I have like one that's like staff picks um, and they're real popular. Displays are so popular. It's amazing because people see stuff they would never look for. It's so much fun. Um, and then we have a little nook, so I try to load it up. So like today on Saturday, when you're really busy, they can grab and just fill in the holes. So I tend to sometimes like think I'm pulling the same things, right? But I did like for March, anything that had the word March in it and it was women's month. So I did women's names and gardens, that kind of thing. And then this month, because of the sun, the solar eclipse, I had anything that had the word sun in it, moon in it, dark in it, light in it. So that's fun. So I'm pulling books I've never heard of and hopefully people will enjoy it or not. And if they, people don't take it, I'll check and see when it's the last time it circulated. You know, that's a good way that we can let go of books that shouldn't be on the shelf because nobody wants it. Sad book. But I give it a lot. I try to give it a life, y'all. Try to save it, but sometimes you can't. And then those books, we have a friend that sells them and then the money goes to children's programs or programs in general, but you know, a lot of the money goes to children's programs, which is so nice. I tell you, so nice. And I just, I love working in that environment. I'm so lucky, but I really like the library to look good. So I walk around and just straighten books and pull books in the children's section to make it look nice, that kind of thing. I love doing it. And I like, you know, I get, I had like 8,500 steps yesterday. So we have this thing, I'll write this down. So we have this thing um, where we, Virgin Pulse, and so you load up stuff and you get money, a certain amount of money for doing certain things. But what's interesting is 
you get money for consistency, like points, right? And then you get so much. You can end up making, I don't know, is it $35 a quarter? Something like that, right? You have like, you can get $10, then 15, then 25, whatever that is. And it gets harder, right? So, um, but there's questions you answer and I've been bad about that. And I wanna do that because that's just dumb. That's just money. But I also have never taken my money out. So I think I have about $500, like four years that I've not. So I wanna get that money out and put it towards my mattress. Or I have to see how much it is. That might pay for a trainer. So we have a YMCA and it's not, it's a nominal thing every month. I mean, it's not cheap, of course, God forbid, back in the day, but it's not like a hundred dollars a month. I think it was like 30, something like that. I have to check. And then what I, my plan is for the first six weeks, I want a trainer. And then I really want to work on, um, maybe four weeks. We'll see. I don't know. Cause yeah, I have to think about that. And then, um, if I did it once, I mean, I would love to do it twice a week, maybe do it twice a week and do three weeks. I don't know, but I have to see what kind of packages they have. And, um, cause I always kind of left that money there thinking that's what I would do. And then 10 spend six weeks working on what I was taught, getting the consistency and then go get in maybe a different trainer and for three weeks, six weeks, whatever and then do repeat like that and try different trainers and stuff. But I really, really want my muscles to be stronger. And that's, you know, that's the way you're, you know, and I, I have so many different patrons who are in their nineties, late nineties, who are amazing. Now, most of them have been thin their whole life, right? So I don't have that going on, but you know, you, they walk, they exercise. You know, one of my good friends, Judy, she walks like crazy in the neighborhood and then with, you know, friends and neighbors and stuff. And then she does exercise classes, probably weightlifting. I never asked her exactly what they are. But you guys, I love the leg machine. God, that pushing, love it. And one of the things I remember working, you know, in your back, they call it your angel wing spot to strengthen that. And that takes woo, time and effort because it's hard to isolate. But I, I love that feeling, you know. And um, so anyway... Thinking of my brother, thinking he should go to the gym, I thought, yeah, so should you. Let's work on yourself. Let's do you. So anyway, so that is kind of where I'm in. So I'm all over the place again. It'll be a nice long one. I hope Instagram did fight me a couple times and I gave up. So, But right now, so I'm going to do that. I have Mark and Sue. We have, um, we have three or four episodes. At, the, at going to gas station. So I would like to post one today, one Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Cause there's people dependent on me for their, uh... so hey Catherine, if you watched this far, I doubt you did. If you watched this far Catherine, you put a comment. But yeah, so anyway, I'm all over the place and that's okay. But pray I'm gonna move forward. Well, the kitchen is gonna be done. But I just don't want my studio to be more of a mess. But I think if I keep the papers here, get all the art stuff put together. And then, you know what, when I go down, I can do 20 minutes of one little section, right? And go, 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 hopefully go, go, go. But it's just lots of paper is probably the main thing. And, um, and you know, I've like, I've been finding things my niece made for me when she was little and stuff like that. So I'm not comfortable just throwing it all out. But what I am going to do is put it in my closet and it's ready to go and grab one when I have time and just go through it real quick. Or not, but it will be out of my way. So yeah, I'll t I'm gonna try to take you guys with me on that. I'm not sure how it will, the lighting should be okay. But all right, let me get going y'all, finish my lunch, my breakfast, get my shower. I do better on my day off if I shower and put on clothes, um, you know, my shoes, that kind of thing. And I just, yeah, I'm ready for business when I do that. Otherwise I just kind of meander around or, but yes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go now and I'm gonna fill my, um, my, new, my cards. My 100 day project, halfway done, y'all. I'm so excited. Very proud of myself because it's been a challenge. My thing was I don't make myself, like I don't have to do it every day. Like I'm going to have 100, hopefully at the end or near the end or around the end. And that's the point. So sometimes I do two or three. Sometimes I do one real quick at lunch. But I like to now do the rest one a day and see what that feels like, right? Practice that sort of kind of restriction. We'll see. But all right, guys, so I will... Put you guys on fast forward when I'm in my 
kitchen, I think. I haven't done that in a long time. Part of the reason the music you choose, like all of a sudden it's like monetized and it wasn't when you used it. Just crazy. Okay, guys, you take care. I'll see you soon.